Alright everyone, I'm coming at you with a little something different today. Something I thought uh, a lot of you would appreciate. I got some eggs getting ready to hatch. And, uh, you know, technically no, they're not reptiles. Well, no, that's not true. Technically they are reptiles, aren't they? But, uh, not the kind of reptiles you'd normally see on a reptile channel. These are quail eggs. And, uh, they're on day 19, or day 18, tomorrow will be day 19, and they are getting ready to hatch. Now I thought about making a video um, documenting the whole process, but that's just like lots of days with eggs just sitting there doing nothing, so might as well just skip to the good part, right? Yeah, so these guys are due to hatch any moment now. Uh, a lot of them have little, little cracks and holes in them, although you can't really camera's not really picking it up. Occasionally you can see one wobble. Uh, these chicks are getting ready to bust yeah, out. Yeah, very exciting. This is my first time ever hatching out any kind of bird egg whatsoever. Yeah, and they're a little bit different than from a typical kind of reptile egg. Uh, they do receive parental care, of course. And, uh, I mean, that's what the incubator does. Is it does what the mother bird would, uh, would do. But they do have to be, like, rotated every so often. And special attention has to be paid to humidity and the temperature which is true for reptile eggs too. Reptile eggs kind of uh, set them and leave them. But these guys uh, they rotate, they had to, they rotated for 14 days and then I had to take out the wheel that rotates them and then I had to up the humidity from 55 percent. Now it's at 65 percent because it helps them break out of the egg. So there's a whole bunch of small, nothing hard or complicated, just Lots of little things that you have to pay attention right, so the to. The incubator I got is this Nurture Right 360. It's mostly sold for chicken eggs, but you can, you know, put pheasants or ducks or, in this case, quail. Oh, and we just had one rocking a little bit. I don't know if you can see these guys moving at all. My my shaky hands are probably making it look like they're moving, but they do rock around a little bit. These guys want out. But I guess there's not much else to say about them for the time being, but I'm going to I'm going to be keeping an eye on them and I will film them as they hatch. I don't know how many of these guys are going to hatch. I got 22 in there. Some of them might be duds, I don't know, but a lot of them are rocking back and forth and they got small cracks in them, so I'm pretty optimistic. Oh, that one right in front of us just moved a little bit. And the one next to it. There you go. Alright. Well, this is what they've been doing for like two days now. Just kind of every so often they jiggle. And the cracks start to form. And, uh... But now they're all going and... I'm hoping by tomorrow morning they'll have mostly be hatched. But we will find out. And I'll see you then. Alright, so as you can see, we had a pretty good hatch rate last night. Uh, 14 of out of the 22 eggs hatched. Uh, I, feel, I was able to film one of them hatch early last night, but then uh, I went to bed around midnight and none of the others had hatched, although they were making progress. And then this morning I woke up to 13 of them, 
and then since then another one popped out. So I guess the next step is that I gotta move these guys over to their tub that they're gonna live in. And the tricky part about that is, is that it lifts up here at this seam. So when you lift that up, they could all like come scurrying off the side. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it in a box and then take them out and then take the lid off of it and then remove them. Yeah, so as you can see, they're all spilling out. So now what I gotta do is just pick them up. Look at that, so cute. And move them over here. Like that. And I got two, two at a time right here. Three. Ooh, come here. You gotta be so gentle with them. They're so little. Four. Alright, so they survived their first night out of the incubator and seem to be doing well. They're all feeding and eating and taking frequent naps as babies do. And, uh,. Yeah, we got 15 birds total out of the, I can't remember if it was 21 or 22 eggs, but either way, 15 birds total, the rest didn't make it. Uh, for whatever reason, I don't know, I'll have to look into it, this is my first time hatching them, so. Those that didn't make it won't go to waste, I got plenty of reptiles to feed. These guys are going strong, and uh, that little yellow one right there, he certainly stands out. Um, he was the last one to hatch, I actually helped him hatch out of the egg. And uh, I think if I hadn't, he probably wouldn't have made it. Uh, those last few eggs, uh, for whatever reason, there were, a couple of them had fully formed chicks in there. Some of them were partially developed. And one of them was a complete dud. And um, I don't know why. But look, here we got that little guy right there. He's crashing. They just do that. They just run around and then decide, you know, when they want to take a nap, they just... They just fall over and take a nap. And uh, there's their food situation. And they got the water there with rocks in it so that they don't get too wet. And the temperature in there, I got a ceramic heat emitter right there. And the temperature in there is about 100 degrees, give or take. But they seem pretty content. Uh, if they were too cold, they'd all be huddled under the light. And if they were too hot, they'd all be away from it. But they're pretty evenly dispersed around the, the bin, so they seem to be comfortable. Uh, <laughs> a little earlier I caught one laying on its back with its legs sprawled out, and I was like, oh man, that one's, that one's dead for sure. But, uh, nope, he was fine. And as you can see, the, the little yellow guy, well, he tried to take a nap. I guess I, maybe I woke him up, I don't know. They won't stay this way for long. In six weeks, they'll be fully grown and capable of laying eggs. So, yeah, I'll enjoy them enjoy while I got them. If you guys like this video, uh, let me know. And I'll keep you updated on the, the quail happenings around here. I can, uh, I can make more videos about these, this particular clutch and um, any future clutches I might decide to hatch out. And eventually uh, I'll make a video about the, the adult quail that I have out in the garage. I know it's a reptile channel, but uh, our interests overlap with other animals, I'm sure. I'm not the only one. touch one yet. Why? Because they have to dry off. See, they're still kind of wet. And they have to dry off before we take them out. Oh, they're so cute! They're so cute! Hi, baby! They're so cute! Aren't they? <laughs> 